It's a rematch of the Bryan County Tournament Championship game for 2020. A little less than two weeks ago, these two teams played for the title of the Bryan County Tournament, and Silo took a 55-37 victory over Caddo in that one. Tonight, the Lady Bruins are on the road here to take on the Lady Rebels on their home court, and we'll see if the result's a little different or it will be the same once again. Good evening. This is the Bryan County Tournament Spotlight Game. It's the first game of a doubleheader tonight here from Silo Gymnasium. I'm Joey McWilliams along with my somewhat silent partner, Jayla Quinn, on camera with me tonight. And we are pleased and privileged to get to bring you this broadcast as Silo will control the tip here at home. We'll get the starting lineups to you. And we do want to say thanks to our sponsors for tonight's broadcast, which include Modern Abstract, Gallipot Pharmacy, Computer Techs, Sales and Trails Family History, and the sponsor for our first quarter, Heartbeat Realty in Durant with Angie Sullivan and her team. Bruins get things stepped up on the defensive end. Offering a man-to-man -man defense. Silo content to get the half court, off, half court offense set and in no hurry here in the early going. Lady Bruins are the number six team in the state in Class 2A with a record of 19 and 1. The lone loss on the season coming against the Silo Lady Rebels. Starters for the Lady Bruins. The lineup looks like this. A junior wearing number four, Carly Robinson. The freshman, number 10, Emily Robinson. A sophomore, number 24, Addie Thomas. A junior, number 44, Kylie Anderson, and a senior, number 33, Kenzie Dixon. Nice block by Anderson down low, and it's taken to the other end by Robinson. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And the Lady Bruins on defense, effective to get the game started. Maddie Busby picks up the personal foul. Cattle Bruins are coached by Colby Johnson. Meanwhile, the Silo Lady Rebels at 20-1, the number two team in the state in Class 2A as this is a top six matchup. Robinson makes the first free throw, and Cato is on the board. Starting lineup looks like this. A freshman wearing number zero, Brady Harmon. A freshman wearing number one, Tiani Ellison. A junior, number 10, Maddie Busby, as the second free throw will not go. A sophomore, number 11, Lexi McDonald. And a senior, number 20, Tierney McCann, as Silo is coached by Ty Harmon. Anderson steps around, locks off the baseline as McCann tries to be the cutter. Ellison can't find her. About a minute and a half gone here, and Caddo... Coming away with two good defensive looks. Lady Bruins didn't shoot the ball as well. Better silo defense in the previous matchup. I'd like to get the ball in the basket tonight. And Robison steps on the line. And that's some solid silo defense. Pressure and the traps proving to be effective. The Class 2A, Class 3A, and Class 4A district assignments and regional and area assignments released today by the OSSAA. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. But both of these teams in Area 4 as the pass inside to Ellison, and Silo is on the board now. Tiani Ellison, the Bryan County Tournament most valuable player as the Lady Rebels were victorious in the tournament. Well, both these teams are in Area 4, but Area 4 is going to take a little bit of a different route to the state tournament. And that's a very long two by Robinson. Robinson, excuse me, she has three. As the area championship, you would think, in Area 4 would take place at some place like Southeastern, like a Bloomer Sullivan Arena. No, in fact, it's going to be at Southwestern as Ellison drives again and... Stepping on the line is McCann. The partisan Caddo crowd wanting Ellison to go over the back. Anderson didn't get a good enough block out there to draw the contact. 
Now on the far side of the court, as you see here from our camera angle, not entirely full here in Silo, but on the home side, pretty good crowd tonight. Both teams represented well. Caddo making the trip down from North Bryan County here on the west side of the county. And filling up the stands to our right, lots of Silo fans as Robinson committed the turnover to our left from our perch here at the top of the Silo Gymnasium. And again, thanks to Heartbeat Realty, Angie Sullivan, Jordan Sullivan, and the team at Heartbeat Realty. By the way, they were voted the Realty Office of the Year for 2019 by the Texoma Board of Realties, or Realtors. And that three-pointer in. So Silo gets its first lead of the night. And there's the trap once again. Ellison will come away and get to record the steal. More of a two-zone look now for the Lady Bruins. Giving up a little bit on the outside. Don't want to give that shot up. They'd like to lock things in on Ellison as she's posted up high and low. And the Bruins with a steal. So even though Silo has a 5-3 advantage right now past the midpoint here in the first quarter, I think if you're Caddo, you have to be happy with the defensive set so far. Robinson splits defenders, takes it down on the left side. The left-handed freshman now with five, and this one's knotted up at five. So Bruins fans looking for that and a little bit more. They need the offensive look so far on defense just to be able to shut down the silo offense. And the Lady Bruins ahead of the pack. Robinson had Thomas open, but she went ahead and took it to the basket herself. Busby gets two points, and this one's tied again. Maddie Busby with two. And Anderson saves it, and it's going to go back to Silo once again. And an ineffective offensive trip for Cato. Points in transition. And we have a tight one tonight. It's going to stay on Silo's end. We were talking about Cato wanting to keep things shut down and lock down the senior McCann and the freshman Ellison on the inside. May give up a little bit from the outside doing so. Pump fake by McCann on the baseline. Count it. Tierney McCann with two. Snow earlier in the week here in Bryan County. And you combine that with a bit of the flu going around. Some schools saw time off. In fact, Caddo coming back to school today was out of class on Wednesday and Thursday. Roads weren't too bad in Bryan County, but if you have some days to give, it's okay to go ahead and say, listen, we're not going to take a chance. The pass to Dixon. Nice look. That one won't fall, but a great offensive look. A nice cut to the basket. Just not successful that time for Caddo. Kenzie Dixon led, led all scorers the last two time last time these two teams met, and that one off the mark, long range for three. As Shaylen Midgley in the game now for Silo, the pass to Robinson, and the Lady Bruins will reset. Kenzie Dixon, the senior, had 17 points, and Robinson drives to the basket. That one's blocked, knocked out of bounds. Now, 
Alaria Bell, a sophomore, will check in and give Lexi McDonald a breather. Robinson there, but not open under the basket on the inbound play. Good job of that zone defense. Thomas will travel. And Addie Thomas slid just a little bit on that planted right foot. I'd say in the early going in this one, it's exactly what I thought it would be. Game not too high scoring. Defense is locking in and a tight contest with less than a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Steal by Robinson. McCann chasing from behind. Robinson slows down, gives a little bit, won't make the shot. Robinson, the rebound, put back, counted. Emily Robinson with two more points, and she's accounted for all nine of the Cato Lady Bruin points that are on the board right now. This one locked up at nine apiece. Silo likely to hold for the last shot here. Coach Harmon giving the play now. And there's McCann in the corner. Down to five seconds. Need to make a look. Skip pass. McCann's going to make something happen. Or will she? She will not. And the Lady Bruins defense stands and holds. A great job by Cato here in the first quarter. And this one's knotted up at nine. We'll be back in a moment. The Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. We're back here at Silo, and this one is knotted at nines. Again, just well, pretty much what I expected for sure. Two top six teams in Class 2A. And the Lady Rebels will get things going here in the second quarter. Second quarter tonight sponsored by Modern Abstra Abstract. Located at 319 West Main in Durant. Keani Ellison with two more points. And a good look inside. Thomas now going to find an opening. And there's that trap once again. Robinson looks to make something happen. And Dixon from long range. Three points for Kinsey Dixon. Emily Robinson, really the big factor for Caddo in the first quarter as McCann's shot is blocked. Lady Bruins, three on two. Robinson ahead of the pack, lets the defenders go by, and she gets her first two here in the second quarter, and Silo will call a timeout. Caddo on top, 14-11. We keep it right here and talk about modern abstract for just a moment. Again, our sponsors for tonight's contest, Heartbeat Realty, Gallipot Pharmacy, Computer Techs, Sales and Trails Family History, and Modern Abstract and Title. Your next closing deserves a modern experience. It's Modern Abstract. Brent Krieger and his staff will take care of you. Again, 319 West Main Street in Durant. All of our sponsors tonight, also sponsors on the Bryan County Patriot, the page. Please stop by BryanCountyPatriot.com. For your news with a positive slant. And we will get that to you. Also, find out a little bit more about these 
destinations for the playoffs. I mentioned Silo and Caddo both are going to be in Area 4, and each team hosting a district. Silo's district is just two teams. It's District 2 in Area 4, and it will be the Calera Bulldogs coming to Silo. That will be in a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, District 5 is hosted by Caddo, Wilson, and Rock Creek headed to North Bryan County. <coughs> so that accounts for four of the five county schools and playoff destinations. The other one is Colbert in Area 3. And Colbert, along with Tushka, is headed to Allen for district play. This area will wrap up, by the way, on the campus of Southwestern Oklahoma State University in Weatherford. Very good friend of mine, Doug Self, the sports information director there. Ah, the new title, the assistant athletic director for media relations. And it's a fantastic gymnasium, the Pioneer Cellular Event Center there at Southwestern. The look is inside. The shot is a little bit too strong for Bell. And here comes Caddo once again. And the Lady Bruins are going to find Robinson going to the basket, or excuse me, to the free throw line to shoot two. And Ellison will pick up the personal foul. For Silo, three team fouls. And for Caddo, none yet in this contest. That's just good defensive looks all the way around. And the Lady Bruins, you have to think, if they're going to keep playing defense like they did in the first quarter, the offense surely must get something going. And Robinson makes the, Robinson makes the first of two free throws. Thomas comes out as Anderson checks back in for Caddo. Second free throw, no good. And Ellison with the board. Lady Bruins two for four from the free throw line tonight. Pass in to Bell again. She thinks better of this shot. Gets it a little closer this time. She's fouled, and she'll get the and one opportunity. Alaria Bell will go to the line. And Carly Robinson picks up the foul, the first personal foul, first team foul. Charged to Caddo here in tonight's game. By the way, sophomore Ashlyn Turner in the contest for Silo as well. With the free throw, the Lady Rebels are back to within one. Dixon pulls up and drains it from 10 feet. Kenzie Dixon with two more. Dixon with five. Caddo's lead is back to three. Anderson steps in, but Ellison gets around, looks down low, and jumping into the passing lane is Kennedy Morgan. And the foul after the fact. Great job by Morgan. Man-to-man -man defense is Lady Bruins will turn it over. Morgan, after the great play on the other end, traveled. And how many points so far now have the Lady Bruins given up after a nice defensive set, but a turnover on the other end? Unforced errors. Still, though, Lady Bruins with a three-point advantage. And McCann goes up. And it looked like that Anderson didn't move into that one very much. I'm still going to. I'm still going to call that for Anderson. So Kylie Anderson picks up her first personal foul, and Tyranny McCann with the aggressive play will go to the line to shoot two. <laughs> Actually, forgive me. After making the basket, McCann just got the one. Dixon on the other end. Last touch by Silo. And by the way, in the first quarter where it was Emily Robinson with all the points, the nine points, seven of the ten now here in the second quarter for Caddo to the credit of Kenzie Dixon. Midgley checks back in for the Lady Rebels.
three-pointer. Anderson with her first field goal of the night, and it's from long range. And the largest lead of the night now for the Lady Bruins. Kylie Anderson did not score in the previous matchup between these two. And Dixon stepping in. Three on two. Dixon will take it all the way down. And just enough contact to draw the foul. Dixon goes to the line with an and one opportunity. Kinsey Dixon with nine points. All of them coming here in the second quarter. And she can get double figures in this quarter alone. Morgan goes out. Thomas checks back in. And really not the foul that Silo would want for Coach uh, Harmon as Midgley was backing away, just drew enough contact, and she actually went to the court, falling away. Free throw no good for Dixon. She has a still in single digits here, and that's in the first three minutes and 40 seconds of the second quarter. Again, tonight's second quarter is presented by Modern Abstract and Title in Durant. Bell posting up high. And now she's down low. The pass too high for Bell to get. Ellison can't step in. Another steal. Robison takes it coast to coast and simply runs over McCann, who had set up shop to take that charge when Robison was about the free throw line. And that's a fantastic job by the senior Tyranny McCann to plant and take the charge what the Lady Rebels needed on the defensive end. Now they need the points. McCann looking for Ellison, and Anderson's done a good job keeping her in check down low. Robinson also, the double team. McCann driving, nowhere to go. She stepped on the line. Morgan's back in for Robison, and for Silo McDonald checks in for McCann, who looks like she's still feeling the effects of taking that charge just a moment ago. They're going to look at her on the Silo sideline right now. Contact well down the court <laughs> on the other end. Anderson driving from the left side, off the glass counted. She set that one up from the left wing, went all the way around, and Kylie Anderson now has five points here, all coming in the second quarter. It is a 10-point advantage for the number six Lady Bruins over the number two Lady Rebels. And really, it has all come from good defense. The transition play is there. And the half-court offense now is in motion for Caddo. Foul as Morgan will come out and make some contact with Midgley. A foul on the court. And with a 10-pointed or a deficit right now for Silo, I have to think McCann may be taking a breather for the remainder of the first half. A little less than three minutes remaining here in this first half. Thanks for watching this Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. Anderson there. Ellison will get it back. And Anderson then with contact on the court. That's in the lane. Ellison making the move to the basket. And Anderson just stepping in, not giving her the easy look. And that's her second personal. 15 foul now against Caddo. Again, Caddo hosting a district here in just a couple of weeks. And... We have a foul this time. The officials are going to say that Ellison was over the back. A little bit better job blocking out now. And it looks like we may have a contact on the court. That is the case. Kenzie Dixon's contact came out with the contact. Two different definitions for the same word there. Looks like she has the contact back in her eye. So she'll inbound. Probably want to get that taken care of, get some solution at the half. Full court pressure now. Lady Rebels employ that. It's not going to matter. They'll fall back into the half court defense now. Dixon from long range. That one won't go. And I don't think she can see well enough. She looks like she's favoring that left eye. So we'll see what happens at the break. In the meantime, it doesn't matter. 
Dixon steps in, can't get it, shot, left baseline, count it. And Brady Harmon gets the two. Lady Rebels needed that. Less than two minutes remaining now here in the first half. And we've got players for both teams, maybe a little bit less than 100%. McCann's on the bench, and Coach Harmon is going to send her back in. Enough of a breather. Dixon, meanwhile, still favoring where that contact came out. Outside the arc, long-range shot, and Harley Mullins couldn't get that to fall. The freshman trying to keep the offense going now for Caddo, and meanwhile, Silo broke a scoring drought just a moment ago. And the pass is inside, double team there quickly. Harmon, nice pump fake and move. Shot no good. And Bell, excuse me, Ellison fouled on the way back up. That's Dixon committing the foul. And Tiani Ellison. We'll go to the line to shoot two. For Kenzie Dixon, the senior has just one personal foul. Both teams with six now, so it'll be trips to the free throw line from here on out. Gianni Ellison makes the first. Anderson will take a seat now as well. McDonald for a silo. Gianni Ellison with a team high 15 points. When these two teams met earlier in that Bryan County Tournament final, and Ellison came away with the tournament MVP honor. This is the second free throw. Robinson drives up and over two defenders. And counted Emily Robinson now with 13. She had 14 at Bloomer Sullivan Arena a little less than two weeks ago. She's nearly matched that here in the first half. And the pick off the steal. Robinson gains control. And she'll go to the free throw line to try to put two in. McCann commits the foul. Extends a hand to... Help her back up. At the free throw line, number 10, Emily Robinson. And so for McCann, that's the senior's first personal foul. Count the basket. Intermission can't come quickly enough now for Coach Harmon. Robinson makes them both. She's three for four from the free throw line tonight. Full court pressure, a little bit of zone look now. And the passing will get it past the timeline. 20 seconds left. Different look now as Ellison's posting high. McCann driving baseline, can't get the shot, dishes off, and count the basket. That is a nice look by to McDonald. She makes the shot. Lexi McDonald with two. Five seconds left. Robinson's going to throw one up. Tries to draw the foul. Can't get it. And time will expire here in the first half. And it is the Lady Bruins, the number six team in Class 2A with a nine-point advantage over the Lady Rebels, the number two team in Class 2A here tonight. It's halftime. We're going to take a break. I want to say thanks to our sponsor here in the second quarter, Modern Abstract and Title. Back in a moment on the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today.
We're back here in Silo, tonight's Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. The first of two here tonight as the Caddo Lady Bruins on a nine-point advantage. It's 30-21 at the half over the Silo Lady Rebels. I'm Joey McWilliams, long time my sometimes and somewhat silent partner, Jayla Quinn. Glad to get to bring you tonight's broadcast. It is brought to you in part by Modern Abstract, by Sales and Trails Family History, by Computer Techs, by Heartbeat Realty. And our third quarter sponsor tonight is Gallipot Pharmacy. Josiah Schomer at Gallipot Pharmacy at 301 East Main Street in Durant. Excuse me, in Calera. Three-pointer for Caddo as Anderson gets the rebound and Anderson goes up strong to the basket. Kylie Anderson, <coughs> excuse me, picks up where she left off. In the first half, she has seven points now. By the way, leading scorers through the first half, Emily Robinson with 15, a game high for the Caddo Lady Bruins. Kenzie Dixon had nine in the first half. Anderson had five, she has seven now. And the Lady Rebels need points. And they get it from Ellison, Tiani Ellison. Now with seven points in the contest, she leads the way for her team. A team that is trailing now again by nine. Ellison coming out on Anderson there as the Lady Bruins will send back the starters, including Kenzie Dixon, who has the ball, over to Thomas, Robinson, Robinson, and Anderson. And Anderson, left wing three, that one partially blocked. Dixon will get it back. Pump fake not there. And I'm going to say that she, I believe, was in the lane too long. So the Lady Bruins turn it over. Meanwhile, for Silo, the same is true as the starters come back into the contest, including McCann, Ellison, Busby, McDonald, and Brady Harmon down low to Ellison. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And I believe that one's going to go against Anderson. It is. And so Kylie Anderson is going to pick up her third. She'll take a seat now for Coach Colby Johnson. I believe Kennedy Morgan's going to check in here in just a moment for the Lady Bruins. And Tiani Ellison makes the first of two. We talked about this being the rematch. This is part two of the Caddo Silo series here in 2019-2020. It may be the second part of three. As both these two teams are in area four, we could see Caddo Silo three in Weatherford, Oklahoma, of all places, at the Pioneer Cellular Event Center. Morgan's going to wind up getting it back. Robinson for three, too strong. Morgan down low and gets the rebound, the putback. Kennedy Morgan will go to the line to shoot two, and that's going to be another foul on Ellison. That is her third, so along with Kylie Anderson, each of them now with three. And Kennedy Morgan will go to the line to shoot two. So stay tuned, folks. The rubber match between the two, if Caddo comes away with a victory tonight, could be for an area championship in Class 2A. Ellison takes a seat now as Bell will check back in. For Kennedy Morgan, she makes the second of two. It's an eight-point game. McCann alone, she's going to take one dribble in, tries to find Bell down low, and Bell still in lane, kicks it out. Three-pointer by Harmon, no good. And Thomas has it taken away with a trap, and Silo can't keep it, though, because she steps on the line, falling away, and... How many times have we said that tonight? How many people have stepped on the baseline, sideline? It's like that blue line is a lot thicker tonight here in Silo than it usually is. Harmon with the steal. Harmon off the glass. And it is a six-point game now. Brady Harmon with two more. Here comes the trap again. Morgan Bell. Knocks it away. Harmon will get it. Looking for help. 
finds it. The pass to Bell down low. Harmon not going to take that shot. Busby, however, will. McCann with the board. The putback. Silos to within four. Great job by Tyranny McCann. And an 11-point lead now for Caddo. Has drifted to just four. It's an 8-1 run for Silo. Thomas for three, top of the key. That won't go. And McCann will get a long board. Here comes Silo with an opportunity. Busby. Pump fakes, drives in, off the glass, no good. Bell down low, the putback not there. Turnaround for Busby, count it! Matty Busby has two more. And Cato needs a timeout. A 10-1 run for the Silo Lady Rebels here at home. And we have a two-point game once again. I want to say thanks to our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. The Bryant County Patriots Spotlight Game is brought to you by Computer Techs, by Sales and Trails Family History, by Heartbeat Realty, by Modern Abstract, and by Gallipot Pharmacy. Go see Josiah Schomer and his staff at 301 East Main Street in Calera, an independent pharmacist taking care of your needs here in Bryan County. The Lady Bruins defense really the key in the first half. And it's not been so much a defensive lack or lacks here in the second half. It's been that. Maddie Busby with the tip. The steal. Count the basket. She'll go to the line with the and one. That's what it's been here in the second half. It's been solid silo defense and points in transition. And Maddie Busby with an opportunity for an and one. This game is tied, and it remains tied after the missed free throw. Lady Bruins just need to get it past half court. And now there's the trap. Morgan in the corner. Dixon finds Thomas at the top of the key. She'll drive in, and this time McCann, the official says, does not get set quickly enough. And Thomas will go to the line to shoot two. For Tyrone McCann, it's her second personal to go with six points tonight. The seniors had a solid ball game. And Caddo needs to stop the scoring drought, and Thomas won't get it done there. Second free throw, however, is good. And it stops a 12-1 run for the Lady Rebels. Addie Thomas with her first point of the night. Now that offense that was Emily Robinson in the first half through the first part of the third quarter hasn't been seen yet. Silo had a 5-3 lead back in the first quarter. It's been a while. Maddie Busby with the put back on her own miss. Gives it back to Silo for the first time in a long time. Silo has the lead. And Maddie Busby has been putting on a show for the Lady Rebels. Brady Harmon will pick up the foul there as the defense trying to continue the pressure for Coach Harmon's squad. And I'm not sure what he said to his team at halftime, but it worked. Dixon, down low to Morgan. Nice job. Kenzie Dixon with a pass to Morgan, her first field goal tonight. She has three points. And that was just a great job in getting through the full court pressure. Dribbled past it. Found the open person down low. Cato back on top by one now. Harmon trying to split defenders, does it. Morgan got a hand on that twice. 
Dixon fighting for it. Robinson comes away with it. A four-on-one look. The pass is too strong, though. Three players ahead of the pack for Cato, but just couldn't find the look. With less than three minutes remaining in the third quarter here. And this one's been fun. An exciting night from Silo tonight. Temperature in the mid-40s. Snow earlier in the week. And no bad weather here tonight. Good crowd here in attendance. Bell. Looks like there's a lot of white jersey in the lane, and McCann can't make the, the shot. No turnover there. Thomas for three. Quickly pulls the trigger. Dixon is there for the board. And we have a foul on the rebound. And McCann picks that one up. Interesting call with exactly two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Lady Bruins with a one-point advantage and looking for Dixon. The pass inside, Dixon doesn't make the shot. Nice look on the inbound and a great job by the Lady Rebels to go ahead, get a hand up there, force the errant shot, and now the opportunity once again to retake the lead. It's been back and forth here in the third quarter after a 12-1 run to open things up after the intermission. Jumper from 12 feet, no good. Nice job by Dixon once again, and She's done a great job on both ends on the glass. Robinson stops, doesn't get the good look. Here it comes the other way, two on four. Busby has that one blocked by Dixon. She's pumped and well should be. Silo with an inbound opportunity under the glass and we'll take a timeout right here. Thanks to... Our sponsors for tonight's Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game, including Gallipot Pharmacy, Josiah Schomer and his staff there at Gallipot Pharmacy. Independent pharmacists taking care of your needs here in Bryan County, 301 East Main Street in Calera, just on the east side of the tracks. And when the train goes by, there's no denying it's close by. A Coach Harmon squad digging itself out of a nine-point deficit at the intermission. 12-1 run to get things going. And right now it's been 14-6. The Lady Rebels have outscored the Lady Bruins here in the third quarter. Busby has just four points, but Maddie Busby has been a spark plug, and the pass is inside to Ellison. Turnaround jumper off the glass and good. Lady Rebels back on top. Nice job by Tiani Ellison, and she has six here in the quarter, and she's crossed into double figures on the night with 11. Robinson, the cutter, double team, triple team down low. Someone's open. Carly Robinson gives it back to Emily Robinson, and now there's the opening. Splits defender, shot is no good. And we have a foul. It's going to stay with Caddo, and if that's on McCann, it is not. That would have been McCann's fourth. Brady Harmon picks that one up. It's just her second personal. Don't forget the boys' game follows this one. And Ellison with the near steal. Lady Bruins get it. Dixon under the glass, double team, and that one's ripped away. The jump ball call. Possession arrow says it will stay with Caddo for a little bit longer, less than a minute remaining. Here in the third quarter, Bell will check back in for McCann. And Coach Harmon doesn't want his senior to pick up a foul with just 43 seconds left here in the third quarter. Boys game to follow this one. It will be on a separate broadcast here on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Brought to you by the Bryan County Patriot. And Ellison sets a screen, a solid screen. The pass, though, on the other end, too strong for Bell to bring in.
And this one's getting to be a little bit more physical. It's been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Robinson was open in the lane. Instead, Dexon outside. Caddo trailing by one here. Thomas, jumper at the free throw line. And it was touched. And Coach Johnson really pushing for that call. And the official does give it to him. That one was touched by Silo. It's going to stay on the Caddo end. Inbound, Dixon. And she's usually one to have an open look on the inbound. Five seconds left. Robinson spins. Has it knocked away? We'll try to put something up, and the official says there is a foul. Just before the buzzer, Robinson will go to the line. Emily Robinson, who has not scored here in the second half after 15 points in the first half, will get an opportunity on the free throw line. First free throw is good. Second free throw is good. And the horn sounds. That's the end of the third quarter. So we'll take a timeout back in a moment. With eight minutes left to play here. The Bryan County Patriots spotlight game is a tight one tonight. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Fourth quarter about to get underway, and although Caddo pulled ahead significantly in the second quarter, the Silo Lady Rebels have made it a contest here at home tonight. Looking down low. There is Ellison, and Tiani Ellison with two more points. She has 13. Lady Rebels back on top, 39-38. Emily Robinson with her 18th and 19th point tonight. After getting two free throws, she hadn't scored in the entirety of the third quarter and did as the buzzer sound going to the free throw line. Caddo back on top. Great job by Ellison just to keep that with the Lady Rebels and the slow pass. Still the opportunity now. Busby driving the baseline. Hits the side of the backboard. Kick Dixon ahead of the path. And Ellison with just enough defense there to disrupt the shot. Here comes Busby around the back. Finds McDonald top of the key and will reset. And this one looking like it may come down to the final possession. Anderson is going to send Ellison to the line. Kylie Anderson picks up her fourth personal foul. And she hadn't been in that long here in the fourth quarter. Tiani Ellison on the line to shoot two. I want to say thanks, by the way, to all of our sponsors tonight, including Computer Techs, as well as Sales and Trails Family History, Gallipot Pharmacy, Modern Abstract and Title, Heartbeat Realty, and Bulldog Nutrition. First free throw, no good. Second one knots this one up. Yeah. 
Johnny Ellison, four for six from the free throw line tonight. We're tied at 40 apiece. Lady Bruins held just 37 points the last two time these two teams met. It was defense for the Lady Bruins in the first half, and Robinson's going to find the opening drives in. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Just enough of a seam. And that's what Emily Robinson brings to the table. She's going to split defenders or go amongst three and four defenders to find that opening in the lane. The help's going to have to step in a little bit earlier when she gets the ball to make her move up near the top of the key for Silo as Robinson now with 20 points on the night. And Kylie Anderson steps out. Kennedy Morgan will come back in. Morgan a spark plug off the bench for Coach Johnson's team. And Robinson drains them both. Emily Robinson tonight, 7 for 8 from the free throw line. And it's back to a two-point advantage now for Caddo. It's been back and forth, a one-point lead for both teams. McCann, and nice job by Robinson. Ahead to Robinson, off the glass, and good. It's now a four-point game. Great job by Addie Thomas looking ahead and finding her teammate. And Emily Robinson now with 23 on the night. The defense picking up where it left off in the first half. Ellison drives in, finds the opening. Nice job by Robinson to step away and not pick up the quick foul. Tiani Ellison now has 16, and it's back to a two-point game. Lady Rebels need some deep. Dixon drives in, stops, spins around, and there's the defense for the Lady Rebels. McDonald steps over, and now McCann. And the Lady Rebels, an opportunity to tie this one or take the lead. And the pass, really to no one in particular, McDonald keeps it in play. There's McDonald, McCann in the lane. McCann has it stripped away. Robinson, the other direction. Midpoint now here in this fourth quarter. And Morgan thought better of the three-point attempt there. Real question here now for def on defense for Silo. Who is guarding Emily Robinson? Right now it's Harmon. The hand up. Robinson open, and we have a timeout as Coach Colby Johnson takes the timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it right here. I want to say thanks to our sponsor here in the fourth quarter, Bulldog Nutrition in Calera, and also the sister nutrition spot, Colbert Nutrition, well, appropriately enough, in Colbert, Sean and Sarah Lopes. Coach Colby Johnson's team talking this one over right now. And after what had to be a very frustrating third quarter, his defense has stepped back up. Didn't get the offensive look he wanted, so he goes ahead and takes the timeout. So they'll inbound here on his end with a two-point lead. Emily Robinson with 23 points tonight. Kenzie Dixon with nine. And... All nine of those points coming in the second quarter. The senior always a presence on the court, and her offensive and defensive rebounds have been big for Caddo tonight. Kylie Anderson has seven points for the Lady Bruins, and she's currently on the bench with four fouls. Meanwhile, for the Lady Rebels, Tiani Ellison with 16 points, Maddie Busby with nine. And Busby hasn't scored yet here in this fourth quarter. Here comes the trap. Robinson spins around. Someone's open for a moment. The trap coming out again. 
So this is some serious pressure now from the Lady Rebels. Lady Bruins have to find the open player. Nearly a five-second call. Trap coming out way high. Robinson picks it up. There's Morgan looking inside, and McCann steps through, and McCann will pick up the foul. That is number four for the senior. Tierney McCann with six points on the night. And as aggressive as that defensive play was, I have to figure something like that was on the way. It's going to be, by the way, a one-and-one -one opportunity now for Robinson. Carly Robinson on the line to shoot the one-and-one. -one. She's one for two from the free throw line tonight, accounting for just one point on the board. Make it two. Make it three. Senior three for four from the free throw line tonight. And it's back to a two possession game. Have to like the defense for Coach Harmon and the Silo Lady Rebels really forcing the issue and not allowing Catter to take all that time off the clock. Morgan steps in, stays with Silo. Will it stay with Silo? It will not. Bell stepped on the line. And, okay, let's look here really quickly as you check out the court. It is the blue line that is the out-of-bounds line. The red line is simply a border around the court. And I'm telling you what, we have seen so many players stepping out tonight. Now, they've all played in this gym before, and they know which the out-of-bounds line is. But you would think, with as many times as it's been a turnover because of that, they might not. There's McCann. Now, she can't afford to play as aggressively as she did on the last play. She has four fouls. There's the trap again, and Coach Johnson will call a timeout. Another timeout taken by the Lady Bruins. This is a 30-second timeout. We keep it right here and say thanks again to our sponsors tonight, to Heartbeat Realty, to Modern Abstract, to Bulldog Nutrition, our fourth-quarter sponsor, to Sales and Trails Family History, to Gallipot Pharmacy, and to Computer Techs. So for Coach Colby Johnson's squad, he takes the timeout, doesn't want to give up a, a possession easily. It is still a two-possession game, and he is allowed to well, – he's looking to run some more time off the clock here. 150 ticks left. And Cato will inbound in front of its bench. Kylie Anderson checking back into the game. <laughs> okay, some confusion now as to which of the Lady Bruins should be in. Not going to let them play with six, I'm pretty sure. As Morgan saw that there were four players on the court, she stepped out. And Thomas will ultimately <laughs> be in the game. The talking point here was that Kylie Anderson has come back in with four fouls. She receives the inbound, and that one's stolen away. Maddie Busby steps in on defense again. Here come the Lady Rebels. High look to no one in particular, and neither Bell nor Ellison saw the pass coming, and it was thrown away. So the steal results in not a good offensive look, and nine ticks go off the clock. Full court pressure again. Dixon. Has it stolen? Maddie Busby again gets around Dixon, and she'll go to the line. Kenzie Dixon commits the foul. She'll make Maddie Busby earn it at the line. And another great defensive play by Maddie Busby. The junior with nine points on the night. Her first opportunities at the free throw line. She'll shoot two. First one rattles in. Busby now with ten. Second one. A little bit more on the mark. The result's the same, though. It's back to a two-point game. Here comes the pressure on defense again. And Robinson picks up her dribble. 
and we have contact. So Robinson will go to the line with a one and one. And we'll see who this foul is going to be charged again. The trap coming in, the defense was there. Silo forcing the issue now. And this one's going to go against Busby. So for Maddie Busby, she has three. And don't forget that Tierney McCann has four. Robinson, three for four from the free throw line tonight. All three of her points coming from the free throw line tonight. Robinson did not score the last time these two teams met. And she can't get the front end of the one and one to fall there. So Silo with an opportunity now. And if Busby's going to pick up that third foul, looks like it was the right one and the right time. Busby looking for the alley-oop down low, finds Ellison. And Ellison comes up limping a little bit. This one's knotted. Nice look by Busby. She gets the assist. Anderson gets away with the travel to the dismay of the silo crowd. And this one's knotted up. That one wasn't a travel. Crowd just wanted to get excited about something. Anderson has it blocked by Ellison. It's going to stay with Cato. We sort things out. Tiani Ellison with two points at the other end. And what a second half Maddie Busby has had. Great job on defense. And a nice look. And Ellison, near steal, wraps around. It is a steal. Busby will stop. Kicks out. McCann. That one's too strong. Still a tie ball game. Robinson is going to go all the way to the glass. And Ellison with a great block. Dixon knocks it away. McCann tips it out. It's going to stay with Cato with 66 seconds left. And both of these teams are living up to the billing tonight. Silo calls the timeout. We keep it right here. And what a fantastic game we are watching here, the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Game. Thanks to our sponsors, to Bulldog Nutrition here in the fourth quarter, as well as Sales and Trails Family History, Computer Techs, Gallipot Pharmacy, Modern Abstract and Title, and Heartbeat Realty in Durant. And it is so fun to get to watch these games here on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. The flagship show for the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Midwest Sports Saturday will come to you tomorrow from studio and then next Saturday from Conway, Arkansas on the campus of Central Bible College, or Central Baptist College, excuse me. And it's going to be Central Baptist in a doubleheader taking on Lion, an American Midwest Conference doubleheader. And that is Saturday, February 15th on Midwest Sports Saturday. Also another programming note, the Summit. And the panel on the summit on Monday night will be a panel of broadcasters and sports information directors from the Great Lakes Valley Conference and talking some GLVC basketball, D2 basketball talk on the summit. That's on Monday night on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Okay, as we reset, Caddo. with an opportunity now. It will be a double bonus, by the way, as the next foul will be the 10th foul on Silo. So, Caddo, long inbound, and here comes the offensive look. Here's the pressure, the trap. Robinson finds Dixon, trap again. Look inside to Robinson, she's alone! Count the basket! Great look by Dixon, and Emily Robinson has 25 tonight! Caddo's on top. Silo, a one-possession game, and Coach Harmon will take the timeout to set up the offensive look. A great job by Dixon finding Robinson down low. And, you know, the key there is Silo not wanting to commit the foul. It would put Caddo on the line to shoot, too. Now, eventually, you don't want to let the Lady Bruins let all the time tick away. But Robinson was wide open 
the pass just above Ellison. She couldn't get a hand on it. And Emily Robinson with her 25th point tonight. And by the way, eight of them coming here in the fourth quarter. Has given her team a two-point advantage. This is Caddo Silo Part 2. And again, there could be a Part 3 because with the playoffs set up, setting up as they are, this could lead to an area championship rematch between these two. Silo took Part 1 in the Bryan County Tournament Championship, 55-37. And tonight... Lady Bruins are on top by two with 45 seconds remaining. Now, of course, Coach Harmon sets the play. It's going to be an inbound near half court. You wonder how much time is going to go off the clock before they get the offensive look. How quickly do you want to run this play? Busby picks up her dribble. Bell looking for Ellison down low. McCann gets it. She'll go to the line. And on defense, the Bruins were there, not giving up the easy look to Ellison. And Terry McCann on the spot to get the board and go back up, and she'll go to the line to shoot too. It will be now the next foul also. This is going to send Silo into the bonus. That was the sixth team foul for Caddo. And Tyranny McCann, calm and cool, collected on the line. She makes the first of two opportunities. And McCann ties this one up. Near steal. Robinson throws it away, and Silo gives it right back. Maddie Busby was there, but she lost her footing, and so Caddo bailed out, really. The Silo defense is tight. Full court, man-to-man -man pressure, 48 all. Dixon will get it back. Gets it past half court. Dixon driving. That one's blocked. Huge block by Ellison. Robinson goes to the basket. That's blocked as well. It's going to stay with Caddo. Coach Johnson wanted a foul on the second block by Ellison. And Tiani Ellison, as a freshman, folks, get used to seeing her play because she has not anywhere close come to reaching her full potential. She's a force to be reckoned with right now for Silo, and she will continue to grow as a player. You see the potential there. Two big blocks, and Caddo now will be inbounding to the left side of the Lady Bruins basket. What a huge defensive play. Let's take a look here really quickly. Definitely not the final game of the regular season for either of these teams. Caddo coming in. On a three-game winning streak. On the road for the... On the road tonight, excuse me, at Silo. On the road next week at Rattan on Tuesday. And then the home finale. Senior night against Calera. That is on Thursday night. Silo, meanwhile, at home for Tishomingo on Tuesday next week. And then at home against Dixon, Class 3A Dixon, for the home finale here, Silo Gymnasium. Anderson trying to find someone does get it to Dixon. This one's tied up. Ten seconds remain in regulation. Maddie Busby with the steal. Gets around Anderson. She's fouled. Gets the shot up. Count the basket. Do not count the basket. The foul on the court. And her jersey looked to be grabbed from behind. 
Robinson. Robinson picks up the foul. Maddie Busby with the steal, and with 1.37 seconds left, Maddie Busby will be shooting a one and one. Game is on the line here. Busby. Missed the free throw. Dixon with the board. And a foul is called. There are zeros on the clock. And for Ellison, her fourth personal foul, it's the double bonus. And Kinsey Dixon will go to the line to shoot two with zeros on the clock. We are at the end of regulation. This is amazing. Dixon makes the first free throw. And this ball game is over. 49-48. And it looked like we were going to regulation or to overtime and a foul with literal zeros on the clock. And this game is done. Part two goes to Cato. Will there be a part three? If there is, expect it to be a tightly played contest. It would likely be for an area championship at the Pioneer Cellular Event Center in Weatherford. I want to say thanks to our sponsors tonight. Caddo, victorious, 49-40. And the Lady Bruins move to 20-1 on the season. Lady Rebels fall to 20-2 thanks to our sponsors to Bulldog Nutrition, Computer Techs, Gallipot Pharmacy, Sales and Trails Family History, Modern Abstract and Title and Heartbeat Realty for helping to bring us tonight's broadcast. Boys game will follow. Thanks to my somewhat and sometimes silent partner, Jayla Quinn. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching this Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Game. <laughs>